another glorious wet and windy day in the Lake District. <laughs> and we're off into the woods to cook up some lunch. Starving. Starving too. little spot here. Uh, got a little seat and a, a rock to put the stove on. I think we're going to try and tie off a tarp to get a bit of shelter in case the rain starts again. Um, we've got a bit of shelter from the wind so I think this will do. That's looking all right isn't it? Give us a bit of shelter. Pretty good. So we're going to be having a play with and testing out the new Bush Box Mini, and it really is Mini. I'm uh, sure everyone's seen the bigger Bush bro Bush Box. It's bigger brother. This is probably less than half the size, but beautifully made, all stainless steel and all clips together in a matter of seconds. So we'll see how that goes. Get it from the. Oh yeah, from uh, Bath Bushcraft Shop which is a cracking shop. Have a look at their website, it's got some amazing gear on there. So let's give it a go. Nice. So what are we going to have for lunch? I know everyone usually does a steak in the woods, but we're going to go for something a little bit different. Should be doing it by the coast, really. <laughs> but we're going to do our take on seafood paella. Ooh, bushcraft seafood paella. <laughs> One thing we forgot to bring was a spatula or a stirrer, so just kind of knocking something up that will do the job. That'll do us, I think. That'll do. Right, time to get the fire going. Nice and warm on my fingers. So I'm going to let it build a tiny bit and then just pop it all in. We're working on a rock here as well just to be safe, but the ground is absolutely sodden so it shouldn't be a problem. Right, in she goes. Ooh, hot sparks. Get cooking. Let's get cooking. Scottish salmon fillets. Lovely. I'll start with them. Looking pretty good. Get a fresh onion. Onion and possibly. What else have we got? We've got prawns marinated in chili and coriander. Mm, sounds good. Seafood it up. Oh, they look good. Mm, look very good. Oh, yes, this is so good. I'm 
and some Cape Herb and Spice Mediterranean Roasts Rub is going to go in. really nice, yeah, I did some roasties with this so the other It smells nice. fantastic, doesn't it? Lunch in the woods. Some oh, garlic. Garlic, going in. I don't have anything without garlic. Well, the bush box is doing a sterling job. It is. For a small meal. Mm -hmm. We were going to forage wood to feed it with, but everything is absolutely soaking wet. So, we've kind of cheated and brought some dry stuff. But. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. The conditions aren't great today. It's oh, very it's wet and windy. It's absolutely. Why we've got tarp off. Waterlogged everywhere and still raining. And the crucial rice for a paella. Got golden rice with veggies. Mm. And we're uh, rapidly outgrowing the pan. I'll do. <laughs> oh my word. Oh yes. <laughs> I think we're nearing completion. We are. I think a little bit of maybe a little bit more seasoning. Oh, we need a bit of more wood in there. Fuel the fire. It smells. It smells amazing. fantastic, doesn't it? Making me very hungry. Mm. So, chef said it's ready. Let's eat. It's time to go. Let's get stuck in. Right. It's the moment we've been waiting for. No airs and graces, we're eating straight out the pan. Oh. <laughs> it's just been on the fire. It's really hot. Mm. Really hot. Mm. Mm, that's really nice. Mm, those spices had a lovely... Uh, yeah, the Mediterranean rub yeah. is good. Mmm. Prawns are excellent too. A bit of salmon. Mm. But that's gonna mix. Right. Focusing issues come on. No, it's not gonna focus on it. It's very nice though, I can vouch for that. Stupid pot. That bush box works really well. Mm. And so small, I mean, it can fit in your pocket. There's just a few glowing embers down in the bush box now. But that really will fit in your back pocket. Um, really well made. It all kind of clips together as well. There's little tabs to unclip it, so it's really secure once it's built. We've not really um, cooked out in the woods. No, this is a first. We usually just have sandwiches, so this is a treat. And it's worked very well. Nice on a rainy day mm. like today. The rain's coming down, the tarp's doing its job. Yeah, it's good to get a proper warm up with some hot food. Mm, it is. Uh, we're used to just cold stuff, whatever it might be, but that really is a good treat. Mm. When we're done, we'll pack up everything. Yeah. Leave it as we found it. We've been cooking on that rock, so there's not anything, uh, any hot embers gone onto the floor or anything. But we are going to have a good clear up, make sure it's uh, left as we found it. But, I think... Success. Even if we do say so ourselves. <laughs> that's a success, and it's a big thumbs up for the Bush Box Mini. That's mm. a superb piece of kit. Back pocket size stove. Um, so yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll sign off with smiles on our faces and full bellies for this one. Mm. So, if you think of having a bash, get yourself a Bushbox Mini and a pan 
and get out into the woods on a wet day, cut yourself up something nice. It's good fun. Mm -hmm. So, from a wet woodland hillside and a delicious paella, this is us signing off. We'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.